you know how many things can be found with a metal detector out there? It's just an amazing hobby. Welcome to the show where I show you things that are being found with a metal detector all throughout the week. I bring them to you here in one show I call The Weekly Dirt. Hey, if you like seeing these finds and being amazed at the things that can be found with a metal detector, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there. We'd love to have you here as part of the family as I bring this show to you every Sunday. Hey, let's start things off by heading up north into North Dakota, just above me right here in Colorado. And I'm telling you, the boys up there were finding some cool things. Let's check in with a great channel called Detecting Dakota. Watch this. I have no idea what I got here. Big one. Token. Palm olive. Palm olive token. Let's get you in the sunlight, maybe. Yeah. Okay, I can tell it's a barber chipped it away. Don't know a year. Nineteen oh three. I think this is a token. I am pretty sure that is what that is. Mm, yeah, I see it reading around the edge. That'd be a token of some sort. I have to clean her up real good. Well, I'm thinking this is either going to be a token or a pendant. Okay, I kind of washed it up, chipped away the stuff that's on there. I still have to take better care of it at home. Right there in the middle, you see a five cents. Another token. Oh, that's a beautiful one. One I've never found here before. McDougal and Company. Town I'm in. 50 cents in trade. Unbelievable. That's, what, four tokens out of here today? Maybe. Nope. One cent, or, no. No, it's just another barber. I think really freaking worn oh my god I think I need to calm down a little bit it is a freaking seated dime there she is I'm gonna clean it up I don't know what year it is really worn 1883 that is a hell of a find hey guys great week great finds out there congratulations everyone links down below to detecting dakota go over there give them a look say hey saw you on the weekly dirt great job detecting dakota hey my friend josh at ct relic diggers having a halloween giveaway that's right i'll put a link down below if you're interested you can head on over there and check it out learn all the rules get involved good luck it's a good one from ct relic digger hey from the dakotas let's head over to alabama as my buddy Brandon with Adventure Archaeology was out digging with Scott and Heath of the History Seekers. Let's go take a look at this amazing discovery they were able to pull out of the dirt. Check it out. From Adventure Archaeology. Now, today I found something while we were out there that I thought was going to be the find of my lifetime. Now, I've already had to make a phone call and send some pictures to a couple of coin stores, and it would be the oldest coin that I've found to date. Let's just say that I got a little bit excited before I knew what I really had. Holy crap! Oh my god! Oh, I gotta call Heath. I gotta call Heath. Oh my god! Yeah, that's gotta be what that is. That thing is huge. Sweet! What is it? Dude, I, don't, I don't even know what it is. I think it's a silver dollar. Hold on. Don't I hate to rub it. No 1795? No way. I swear to god. That's a drape bust! That's a freaking drape bus in Alabama. <laughs> what the? F oh my God. <laughs> How does that even happen? Whoa. Listen, we found musket parts here before, but only a few. <laughs> I, dude, I thought it was a Morgan. That's so much. Dude, I got to go to the Northeast to dig 1700s coins, and you're digging it right here in my backyard. Oldest coin to date for me, best coin to date, and I can't rub it no more now knowing that date. We, we got. Oh, oh. No. Mm. oh, just a little. Mm. No. Oh, that is. Look at her hair. Is that a it is hair? flowing hair. It's flowing yeah. hair. Holy moly. What? Is that is le that's legit, though. That's not something that was remanufactured 100 years ago or something? That, like, a reproduction or anything? If it, no. if it was, no. no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look it up. 
I just found a 1795 coin, if that's the case, mm -hmm. in Alabama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At a Spanish-American war camp. Yeah, 225-year-old coin. I've sat down for a couple of reasons. For one, oldest coin to date. For two, oldest silver to date. For three, we legit just looked up the actual value of this coin, depending on condition. It could very well be over an $8,000 coin. That's starting out, right? Yeah, that was kind of the, the mediocre price range was $8,500. So we're talking about a possible $8,000 silver coin in my hands. Okay, guys, just got back from two different coin stores, and my bubble has been busted. On the left is the coin that I found today, and even though in the heat of the moment I thought that it was real, it's clearly not. Man, what a find. Are you kidding? Whenever large silver like that comes out, it's just an amazing find. And even if it was counterfeit, I'm telling you, sometimes those are even more exciting because they're more rare, right? It's more rare of a find. So congratulations, Brandon, to you, Scott, and Heath out there digging together. Everyone head on over to Brandon's channel. Link's right down below. Go tell him, hey, man, congratulations on that counterfeit silver dollar coin. Man, amazing find. Congratulations. I want to win a Garrett Carrot. Well, mental metal. He's having a cool giveaway. He's giving away a carrot. Links down below. Go over there. Follow all the rules. Good luck to you. It's a good one from Mental Metal Detecting. Go check it out. Hey, from Alabama, let's head on over to the UK and check in with the Grim Bleeper. The way he was out with his Equinox and just had an absolute great day. Let's go look in and see what he was finding. Check it out from the Grim Bleeper. Sticking out my ledge. Oh, I'm onto a coin. Is it old? Is it new? Huh? That's Britannia, but there's supposed to be a date at the bottom of that. I think it's just a Victoria farthing. Uh, the date's underneath the neck there. 18 something or other. But I've never had one come in such good condition. For that, that, look at that. That's got, well, I don't clean up the tooth, but that's got some age to it. Look how thick it is. Possibly a medieval mountain looking at that. I've cleaned up the front as much as I'm going to do out here. I start to clean up the back and realise it's still got the leather attached in it all my days all my days i haven't found one of these in ages i've already had a look a little pickup it looks to be an old coin weight uh antwerp is that the antwerp hand am i right in thinking Tiny hammered coin, but I'm not 100% sure. It could just be a bloody button. Shapedness of it makes you think this could be hammered. Oh, no! <laughs> but look at the condition of this for a tiny farthing. Absolute tiny silver hammered, but it's in bloody amazing condition. That's probably the best farthing I've, I've ever had. This signal here came up, it's a coin. It was sat in there. It's our green one, it looks like a farthing. It's a nice, small little diddy diddy. Aha, 18, wait a minute, 1816 farthing. It's Victoria. Man, he's always on the finds just like that. If you're not a fan, go become a fan. Link's down below. You guys know what to do. Head on over there. Give him a big thumbs up. Say, man, saw you on the weekly dirt. Congratulations. Keep finding the goods, the Grim Bleeper. Hey, you know, here at the Weekly Dirt, I watch videos from all across the world, and I try to bring you some of the coolest finds and coolest discoveries here on the channel. Well, today we're heading over to Germany. That's right, Terra Germania, great channel. If you're not a fan, you need to go check it out. But he was on the goods, found an incredible find of ancient proportion. Let's go check it out. Terra Germania, watch this. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, I had to come back to the Roman villa site. Um, if you've seen my last video, you will know why. Uh, this Roman drawer pull is an amazing find. I'm still shocked and I'm hoping for similar finds here today. Oh, <laughs> a coin. 50 finish. I'm surprised about the state of the coin. Um, it's quite green, it got a very strong patina, which is unusual because these coins are made of uh, aluminium bronze and normally they come out of the ground uh, gold shiny and uh, yeah, fool you very often. Wow. 
Wow, <laughs> another coin. It's a wafer thin copper coin and I think I know what it is. Uh, it has to be a, um, a Heller from, from Frankfurt here. Heller are uh, minted out of very poor copper alloys. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I found another Italian coin but this time 2,000 years older. <laughs> Look at this beautiful Roman bronze coin. Look how fat and chunky it is and the condition is so beautiful crisp and uh, yeah but but uh, i can say that it's a faustina coin that's for sure um, the past coins i found on this field were all faustina coins so you can narrow down the age of uh, the villa um, yeah quite well what an amazing find i mean uh, Man, love seeing the Roman coins come out, and when they have that kind of detail on it, there's nothing better. Man, congratulations to Terra Germania. Head on over there, become a fan. He's got a great channel, great cinematography, great editing. So if you like that kind of stuff, he's got more for you right over on his channel. Terra Germania, tell him you saw him right here on the Weekly Dirt. Hey, last thing I want to bring up with you today is a little bit of somber news, but I know us as a community can get together and help support the cause. One of our own, Jacob Yoder, that's right, of the Backwoods Boys, has been in a terrible car accident. And right now he's in a medically induced coma, surrounded by friends and family that love him. There's a GoFundMe account that's been established to help with costs. I'll put a link right down below to that GoFundMe account. Consider going over there and getting involved and contributing to this cause. But more than that, please remember him and his family in your prayers. Jacob Yoder was a great member of this community for many years, and then he kind of went into the Army, served our country, and he just recently was in this terrible accident. So please keep him and your family in your prayers. Everyone, I know you will. Links down below. Consider giving to that great cause. Hey, if you're enjoying the show, you come to this one spot where you can kind of see it all every Sunday. The video on the screen right now is one you shouldn't miss. It's a good one. Go check it out. I'm DK with Adventures in Dirt. Have yourself a great week. I'll see you next Sunday.